Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to have a weird one. Today we are going to compare the almighty turtle, which got buffed quite a bit lately. And we are going to compare Tess 5, which is one of the best tank destroyers in the game, at least in my humble opinion, if we are talking about the assault tank destroyers. So how today's session is going to look like? We took two very, very good games from the Vought replays, and we are going to check out how TS5 performs, how Turtle uh, performs. After that, we are going to check some stats, we are going to check armor, and we are going to check out which tank is overall better tank in the game. And should people regret their life choices if they traded in uh, the turtle? If you did, leave the comment section down below and say what tank you traded turtle in, um, turtle to. Now, it is an example. I had a turtle. I traded it to, for ELC even or something like this. Anyways, let's go straight into the action and let's see the very first game. Okay, fellas, first things first. Test 5 in action and let's see how Monkey will be the living crap out of everyone. Listen, we know that this uh, game is going to be good, right? We selected it from the vote replays. Um, the same goes for a turtle, but this is the part of the plan and the part of to see how the tanks are looking like when all stars are aligned and whenever everything is going in your favor. After that, obviously, we will dig for our guns, we will dig for armor and whatnot. But now let's enjoy the show. By the way, I haven't seen the replay myself, so it is going to be uh, for me just entertaining as it is for you. And what we can see from all of this that Turtle is taking the, well, actually, Test 5 is taking the position. At first, he is getting uh, around the corner and he is chilling and enjoying himself and he is considering his life choice because he doesn't have an angle then he said you know what i don't care i am playing with a test 5 and oh boy oh boy test 5 has absolutely glorious armor so there is no um need for me to be worried about this and there is no need for me to overthink my life choices and my actions right so look at this beauty he said i don't care i'm just going in and you know what this is actually pretty uh, solid play with the TS-5. TS-5 as a tank uh, is created to go in the front lines and to be the living crap out of uh, out of everyone. You know, if you are finding the tourists going in front like this, I mean, you are having a blast. Obviously, it is not impenetrable tank. People can penetrate you, right? And you can definitely take one for the team if you are going to mess up or if you are going to do uh, something bad. Right? The gun handling for a tank destroyer standards could be better, but it's not bad because you are playing in the close distance, you know? Whenever you are playing with a TS-5, you are very, very close to the enemies, and if it happened to be that you have much making like this, you are going to enjoy yourself to the maximum, and you are going to have a great time overall right uh, meanwhile uh, the cover four in the other side is holding all of those tanks and test five is enjoying himself and he is having a blast and i really want to start with this that test five uh, um he has absolutely glorious armor and it's kind of idiot proof to uh, to very 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 big extent if i can say so right i think i think test five um is one of the best and one of the easiest uh, tank destroyers to play in the game, right? Even though um, the turtle can and will perform better in, in certain scenarios, right? At least that's what I think. I mean, this is not the most equal fight, don't you think? So, Mr. Tiger P against the TS-5. And oh boy, oh boy, TS-5 is about to chew everyone up. I mean... How convenient is this beautiful platoon, fellas? Beautiful platoon of the Tiger Peas. And you know what? If I would be Tiger P, I would be very, very happy with this performance. And I would be very, very, very happy with all of this. Obviously, very happy, if you know what I mean. There is nothing what you can do about this, apart trying to track the TS-5 and try to eliminate him from the game. By the way, we are looking into the guy who knows what he is doing, or at least it looks like it. He is paying a humongous um, attention uh, at um, 
obviously surroundings right this is important thing to say and in the same time every single time whenever he's shooting you know he's trying to make a good angle so enemies uh, won't be able to penetrate him and so on so on so that is that is a good uh, thing and that is a good indicator meanwhile Škoda is sitting around the corner Baza managed to get the penetration which is actually very rare but I think uh, that was a bit of the misplay from this guy's side but it doesn't change absolutely anything Baza uh, being sent to the garage and now Škoda is down to fartable he cannot do absolutely anything about this because he's on the reload and he's being sent to the garage uh by the way can i tell you one very very important thing looking into all of this fellas this game is uh, four and a half minutes of the world of tanks right and the score is already in the high five uh, thousands and once again i mean test five has quite a bit of the ways to shine and it is very very nice if you are are dealing against the um, gentleman who doesn't have the best penetration in the world of tanks right so uh, that's important thing to say and overall it's just it's just hard to dig test five I mean I can tell you one thing from my point um, and uh, there is there is a if I am playing with the lower tiers uh, there is a moment when I can definitely struggle against the test 5 because you need to uh, slab this tank into Coppola and it can be complicated and it can be definitely annoying. What is he trying to do? He's trying to bait the 112 to shoot him but you know what he's going to be patient he's going to wait until 112 will try to get involved and whenever he will he's going to celebrate his victory at least that's how it looks like okay gun damage doesn't really change absolutely anything 112 made a humongous mistake unfortunate for him and all he needs to do is to eliminate this projector who could not aim and uh, here you go this is this is the end game of of this time right uh nine kills fellas nine kills 6.8 thousand damage it is it is a good round of the world of tanks for sure um i think this gentleman did everything properly i think he went in front like there is no tomorrow and he slapped everyone in his way so that is very 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 nice now looking into the score and looking into everything what do we have we have nine kills um 6800 damage pretty damn good performance overall uh two 1100 base experience which is very 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 good and 113 um thousand profits although he had a credit booster so maybe he completed some missions either way he's making quite a bit of the credits indeed actually no the credit income was 200,000. yep uh I think he had a credit booster so on. It's irrelevant anyways. Never mind. Uh, let's see how the turtle is performing and how the turtle works. Shall we? Okay. And for a second battle, we have Dose of Luck. Uh, trying to beat the living crap out of the everyone with uh, his almighty turtle and turtle is definitely uh, significantly better than it was before fellas i can promise you that it truly is and you know what can you hear this sound bug because i can so if we will go back the sound bug should disappear am i correct I think I am correct. Beautiful. If you are struggling to make the replays work properly, just uh, go back uh, for a 10 seconds and everything is going to be okay and you can hear the engine. Absolutely glorious. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is, I was, I was trying to play some games with a turtle. I was trying to play some games with a TS5 and obviously in the end of the day, a lot of things are depending on your preferentials, what uh, what do you want to do and what do you prefer, right? But the turtle, what I noticed, the turtle is extremely, extremely good whenever you are obviously dealing against the enemies who doesn't have the um, best penetration and the most accurate gun. And if you can be the guy who is actually getting involved uh, into, the, into the game, right? And... 
enemies simply cannot penetrate you, you are going to have a great time overall. Now, I believe we are going to see quite a bit of the cupola sniping over there. And you know what? Armor, looks like armor actually works on the turtle in this situation. I mean, luckily enemies doesn't shoot the gold ammunition, which is very, very good. And this looks like a farm for all mighty turtle, right? There is not much what enemies could do in this um, situation, well, apart loading gold and uh, hoping to penetrate you. Uh, we are going to come to the armor models in a moment, right? And we are going to have a conversation about this, but now let's enjoy the pure turtle gameplay. Uh, all and all, if I can say so, I think turtle is kind of... Ooh, nice blind shot. Um, if I can say so, fellas, turtle is is one of those tanks with which you want to go with a gold ammunition as well. Okay, fine, maybe you are, if you are playing against the tier 6s, it is um, unnecessary, but overall, let's get real. If you are going to deal the tanks with armor, um, where the penetration goes, 240 is definitely less than 270, right? So, uh, you would rather shoot 270 uh, penetration shells, at least this is how I look into all of this and this is what I think. But in the same time, this is not a complaint. Um, there is many tanks which is having the same situation, right? Uh, it's just how it goes. There is many, many tanks with which you want to shoot the gold ammunition instead of shooting the standard ammunition. Um, nothing unusual here and nothing too crazy. Anyways, looking into the score, first couple of minutes into the battle, 2.6 thousand damage dealt, yip yip hooray. That's very, very nice, right? And all he needs to do, he needs to figure out how he's supposed to defend the base in this situation. Because his team is winning, he's having um, a great time, and all he needs to do, he needs to use his monster DPM in order to slap everyone. Meanwhile, this IS-3 is just showing that his armor is unpenetratable, and he's sitting sideways, you know, and that works just fine. Ay, 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 okay, listen, I really want to highlight uh, uh, this thing, the gun handling doesn't look great of this tank, fellas, believe me or not, but the gun handling doesn't look very, very good, meanwhile, unfortunately, your base is about to be captured, everyone is panicking, 3, 2, 1, I do not know what happened, but there is a chance that uh, either Model 1 left the base, or either Model 1 took one for the team, either way, it doesn't really matter, because um, the base is the captured, and that's the most important thing of all of this. Um, luckily, ELC even and said, you know what, don't worry mate, I, I got you covered, he joined the cap and he is saying, oppa, we are going to have a great time, meanwhile Patriot made a mistake, he went in front and oh boy, oh boy, cap is the captured, so um, now life is beautiful and everything is looking very, very nice. Uh, this gentleman is trying to scout for the angle, you see this movement of the gun fellas, this is, this is uh, called scouting or, or or, or, or uh, scanning, doesn't really matter, um, for, for the enemy pixel shots, you know, I can, I can see what you are doing, I can see that. Meanwhile, the situation is significantly worse at this point, uh, the Mr. Turtle is getting flanked from every and each side, there is a Scorpion G in front of him, no bueno, but l hopefully he will be able to eliminate him from the shot, fingers crossed. Luckily that, his team eliminated the guard so he's not going to get flanked and that's okay where the hit points goes it doesn't look that bad in this situation um his team is still uh Okay, hit points wise, although uh, the guns wise, it is a bit different story and it is a bit different situation, right? But all in all, it's definitely not that horrible. I really want to highlight the gun handling though. The gun handling in this game it wasn't looking like the turtle is looking as nice as um, test 5 does i mean honestly speaking it was just missing many 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 shots or maybe it is visual appearance of the 25 time zoom but either way it is how it is patriot is still capping the base doesn't really change absolutely anything and you know what slowly but surely the situation is looking a bit better right um, mr turtle has four kills 
skills, yip yip hooray, and there is plenty of the damage to make. And speaking about this game, this game is top 5 games uh, in the um, what replays uh, played by the turtle, you know? So this is a very, very, very solid game. And I can tell you one thing, whenever I was doing my diligence, whenever I was searching for the replays, uh, turtle was dominating the tier 8s comparing to the TS5 and I'm going to show you the score and everything, right? Uh, pretty much that basically means people are uh, playing uh, with the turtle quite a bit and they are being successful which is very very nice by the way may i tell you one thing that it is one versus five situation in this situation or in, at this moment here you go gun handling Ooh, i i can tell you one thing from my point of view i would be a bit steaming if the gun handling would treat me uh, like so that is looking very very bad although the shot on the uh, t92 was absolutely glorious t92 is a bit of the tourist that's okay appreciate your local tourists meanwhile turtle is showing uh, his side which is absolutely glorious and that was a very 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 good play just to go for a turtle instead of retreating right this is absolutely glorious it's not a victory yet because if this mr um p44 pantera will um be brave obviously he can flank the turtle and plus on top of that there is arta from the back speaking of the devil devil is slapping the living crap out of the turtle and the situation is looking a bit worse um at this point anyways i believe it's relatively clear what our hero of the day is going to do and he is just allowing this pantera to run away it doesn't really change absolutely anything and i assume he is going to go to the middle and he will try to catch the uh, p44 pantera taking the hill because there is a possibility that could happen as well right at least that's what i think and obviously arta is um last remaining mother trucker who will take one for the team this p are you that brave i was thinking is this p44 pantera going to go on top of the hill without any questions asked and he is uh, eliminated you know what is the funny thing? The P-44 Pantera, whose name is Turtle Battleship, just got eliminated by the Turtle. That is kind of ironic, don't you think so? Oh well, unfortunate, what can we say? So, all in all, I mean, um, I believe it's quite... Um, an easy tell who's going to win the game will the turtle will win the game or the mr arta um i believe arta has no chance whatsoever and here you go pp in the air and a beautiful dose of luck slapped the living crap out of the enemies that is absolutely amazing and that is absolutely glorious now looking into all of this how the performance went with a how the performance went with a turtle. 10 kills, Colobanos medal, Pulse medal, high caliber, top gun, 7.5 thousand damage. So it's already significantly better uh, or quite a bit better than the test. Five best battle which we had and so on, so on, right? Um, yeah, turtle is looking very, very nice. But you know what? We are going to go through the stats quite a bit now and we will dig a bit deeper. Is it is it actually better? Uh, is it better for everyone or just for um, um, a certain amount of the play styles and so, um, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, let's check out the stats and let's see what our gaming has done with the turtle and we can get, uh, we can dig a bit deeper now, shall we? Okay, fellas, so the first things first, what we are going to take a look at, we are going to take a look into the armor of the tanks, right? Um, the test five versus turtle. Turtle, in my humble opinion, is weaker than TES-5 armor-wise. In other words, if you are going to play super aggressively through the open field, you are going to be in trouble. You can be simply penetrated by 333 40 millimeter shells without bigger problems whatsoever. And if people can shoot the lower plate, well, hashtag never lucky. With the TES-5 on the other hand, right, the situation is a bit different. You have a weak spot of 240 millimeters and a cupola of 190 millimeters but you can cover cupola uh quite easily by raising your gun like this if we are speaking about the angle and as you can see uh hashtag never lucky it's not so simple to um deal with the cupola although 
Uh, speaking about the gun depression, gun depression is only minus five of the test five, right? So it can be quite difficult to play in the certain um, positions, right? And with a turtle, you have minus 10 gun depression. And obviously, it makes your armor look significantly better. Until enemy loads gold, whenever enemy loads gold, well, then a hashtag never lucky. You are just slapping it in the mantlet, or alternatively, you are trying to shoot here. It doesn't really change anything right uh, you are just getting farmed so obviously test 5 is just better armor wise right it's just how it goes and just how it looks like and it's it is uh, a stronger tank but whenever you are playing hold down probably uh, the turtle will perform better now speaking about the tanks overall, DPM is pretty much the same, Turtle has a bit of the edge, well 100 DPM edge, right? But what we need to say, we need to say one thing, Tus 5 dispersions are looking better whenever you are moving, whenever you are turning the tank and whatnot, right? Uh, although... Almighty, almighty Turtle, uh, he has a bit better accuracy. Not a bit better, way better accuracy or way better dispersion. This is whenever you are fully aiming your shots, right? Um, so this is definitely a good thing and this is uh, uh, this is definitely a benefit of the Turtle. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, but looking into the replays which we have seen, it felt like Turtle was trolling significantly more than Tess 5 did. Um uh, or maybe that's only me, or maybe because of the distances we are the tanks uh, um, played. Doesn't really matter, it's okay. Uh, moving uh, up. The Turtle received a humongous buff overall lately, and looks like Wargaming doesn't know how to, uh, how to deal with the tanks, right? Uh, Wargaming doesn't really buff the tanks just a little bit, either to put the wall of changes or either nothing. So pretty much the turtle weakness in the past uh, uh, used to be very, very low penetration overall, truly. Test 5, I mean, is superior with his 300 hits, right? Um, if we are comparing um, those two tanks. Nowadays, obviously, we're gaming buffed everything, and plus on top of that, with the turtle, you could not snipe for shit. The main reason why not, because the shell velocity was so bad, it's not even funny how bad the shell velocity was, right? And Wargaming fixed it. I, I have a feeling, fellas, that Igor was missing many, many shots while sniping with his turtle, so he made the decision to buff it a bit. Uh, that's understandable, you know. I, I am struggling with this tank as well. Here you go. Um, Top speed got buffed as well. Dispersion during the movement and the whole traverse got buffed. So pretty much turtle received a humongous buff. This is why this tank is on the map at this point, right? Uh, it's just how it goes. It's just how it works. Now, now, overall speaking about the replays, um, I was I was checking out uh, how the things are looking like, you know, and how people are performing. And in the first page, looking into the replays over there, I mean, with a test five people um, are posting five thousand damage replays. Now, just to let you know, speaking about the turtle, right? Speaking about the turtle, fellas, turtle is. Fill it with a billion of the 8,000 damage games, 7,000 damage games. So overall, it looks like this tank is performing uh, uh, quite a bit better, right? Just how it is. I mean, you can see that yourself. I can see that myself. Uh, and overall, looking into the performance-wise, you know, the games-wise, performance-wise, uh, the test 5 is uh, lacking uh, behind the almighty turtle. Uh, test 5 is tiny touch more popular, but, but not by the humongous margin. And overall, um, turtle is just superior by average damage cost and by win ratio cost, right? Uh, although... I truly want to believe that the turtle is a bit harder to play than test 5. I think test 5 is kind of idiot proof to the extent that uh, it doesn't matter. You get ansk, you are just going in front, you know. With a turtle, it's better to get the hold down maps. As an example, Sand River or El Halu or something else like this. Then you are going to feel a bit better. So they are same tanks, but they are different in the same time. Also, we can check out one more thing. How people are performing with a test 5 overall, right? And looking into that 
ts5 performance we have um we do not have a single gentleman who has uh 3000 damage uh at least on october or average 3000 damage on september we had uh, we had two guys who had 3000 dpg plus right which is very very impressive and this is overall like a base factor just to check out how the uh, people are performing and how the people are playing right on that with a turtle on the other hand uh, we currently have four guys who are playing for 3000 damage on october on this five zero and september we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen yeah you can see that there is significantly um more people who are doing 3000 right that being said fellas what do I think is the better tank? Is it the, the almighty turtle or is it the TS-5? None of them are perfect, honestly speaking. You know, both of them are slow and both of them have weaknesses, so they are not immortal. But I would say for a newer player, the TS-5 is going to be a bit better tank, that's for sure. And for a bit more experienced player, if the guy knows how to play hold down and... Uh, Enemies are going to make a mistake, go in front, uh, preferably close distance. The turtle can and the turtle work better just because of this uh, gun depression, right? So I hope I answered into your questions, fellas. I hope you enjoyed this kind of uh, this kind of video. It was it was an interesting one to make, right? And overall, it is uh, a bit different from what we usually do. So if you had a great time, obviously feel free to leave the um, thumbs up. And if you would like to see a comparison list with one or another tank you know uh, to go a bit deeper um we can do that as well we can test out the things uh also one more thing i think for gaming realize that they messed up and i think there is a humongous chance that they are not going to sell sell the turtle at least for some point while the panic uh, is is in the office and while all papers are burning um and after some time we will see how the things will look like and maybe but the turtle will be on sale once again or maybe it will get even nerfed who knows uh, anyways fellas that's what i have for you today i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace